एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल डेंटल कैफे इफ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल दैन डोंट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लिनिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फिजिक्स फॉर सेव एंड जर्नल अबाउट द फिजिक्स फॉर सेव इज ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल शेयर द लिंक बिगिन विद द ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिजिक्स फॉर सेव सो वॉट इज फिजिक्स फॉर सेव an automatic extraction system that provides a simple predictable and unconventional method of extracting teeth how does it work it is a forceps but it is work as an elevator rather than forceps using first class lever mechanism look at the figure we have a bumper one handle is connected to a bumper which act as a fulcrum that is placed deep in the vestibule then the other end we have a beak so the other uh, other handle is connected to a beak which is positioned most often on the lingual or the palatal root of the tooth into the gingival sulcus so bumper is always placed buccally and the beak is always placed lingually or palatally try to understand with more figures so look at the uh, uh, elastic part which is called bumper which act as the fulcrum that is placed in the vestibule or a sulcus then other part of the handle we have a beak which is positioned on to the lingual or the palatal uh, root of the tooth into the gingival sulcus once instrument is properly placed then the handle are rotated few degree with only a wrist movement in a slow steady and controlled manner no squeezing do remember there is a rotation with the help of wrist this will result in releasing of hyaluronic acid resulting in breakdown of periodontal ligament and easy atraumatic extraction of tooth applications of physics forceps so they are used for curved or long rooted molar and cuspids fractured teeth grossly decayed teeth endodontically treated teeth but they are not used for root stump and they are ideal for implantologists that want to preserve the surrounding bone and tissue in preparation for dental implant as uh, it is used for atraumatic extraction so surrounding bones are preserved which can be used for the implant placement what are the physics forceps sets so they are available in four set was already discussed in my previous videos so we have lower universal then upper left upper right and upper interior uh, so with the help of typo i'll show you how to use physics forceps so we have a four set of physics forcep as we all know we have lower universal forcep right and left upper posteriors and the upper interior so begin with the right maxillary uh, forcep so what all are the steps in extraction of right maxillary posterior using physics forcep begin with the step 1 beak is placed in palatal or lingual side with the handles open wide to set the beak on the solid root surface then in step 2 at the level of mucogingival junction bumper is placed perpendicular as you can see in the figure position it securely no need of squeezing or pulling the handle in step 3 once placed in position steady rotational force is applied buccally and held in position until it meets with resistance pressure increases exponentially allowing for the release of hyaluronic acid which help in loosen the attached periodontal ligaments physics forcep is done once 1 to 3 mm tooth movement is achieved then deliver the tooth with any conventional instrument such as hemostat or rongeurs now steps in extraction of left maxillary posterior using physics forceps 
all the steps are the same except we have to select a left uh, maxillary physics forcep so in step first we have to select the upper left um, physics forcep and then same as the right forcep beak is placed in palatal or lingual side with the handles open wide to set the beak on the solid root surface in step 2 at the level of mucogingival junction bumper is placed perpendicular once the instrument is uh, correctly placed continue with the step 3 that is the rotational force is applied buccally allowing for the release of the hyaluronic acid to loosen the attached periodontal ligaments or to break the attached periodontal ligaments now the steps in extraction of upper interior using physics forcep step 1 select the upper interior forcep and then all the steps are same as beak is placed in palatal side with the handle open wide to set the beak on the solid root surface then in next step at the level of mucogingival junction bumper is placed perpendicular in step 3 rotational force is applied to allow the release of hyaluronic acid to break the periodontal ligament for the delivery of tooth now the last is a step in extraction of lower teeth using physics forcep in step 1 select the lower universal forcep place the beak in lingual side with the handles open wide to set the beak on the solid root surface then in the next step at the level of mucogingival junction bumper is placed perpendicular as it is universal forcep so same forcep is used for interiors and posteriors as you can see in the figure and in the last step rotational force is applied buccally allowing for the release of hyaluronic acid to break the periodontal ligaments i hope this video is helpful for you for more such type of videos do like share and subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest update thank you for watching